Hey, this is Evan with Black Rifle Coffee. Today we're gonna to go through hand grinders. We've been out in the middle of the mountains in Idaho for about a week now. So we've been making coffee every morning and sometimes in the afternoon. Uh, we've been using the hand grinders or these two different hand grinders for the last couple months around the office. We decided to bring them out here, uh, use them in the woods, and now we'll just walk you through them. I'm gonna drink some beer. Because it is a Black Rifle coffee review, it's not a hipster review. So the first one I'm going to go into is the uh, Zassenhaus. Um, you can see it's fairly burly. Uh, it's stainless steel. You've got the cup on the bottom. You've got the ability right here to adjust your grind. You got the top. This is basically a simple bearing with a handle. You got your bearing. This is where you're going to put your beans right through the top of this. So you can see just based on volume, it's not going to hold a lot, but it's perfect for an arrow press. So you just throw your coffee in there. You've got to find the, the correct lineup with what's going on here in the grinder and the handle. Line it up, grind for one or two months, and then eventually you'll have enough coffee to throw through your arrow press. Fantastic grinder. Uh, some negatives to it, it's your bale or what would you call this? Catch. Yeah, your catch, your grind catch. This thing uh, gets a little bit loose, so you've got to cup it down here. It's like your left finger, your pinky or something like that so it doesn't fall and go all over your floor. Especially when you've been grinding or hand grinding something for a while, you don't want to spill everything and lose everything you have. Um, so it gets a little bit loose. This arm, in order to take this arm off, see if I can even get it off. God, Edwin. Yeah, mine doesn't come off, man. Yeah, so in order to get this arm off, it can be a real pain in the ass. So that means this is the total volume. You've basically got this to deal with. So negatives, you've got this arm that doesn't really come off that well. This catch seems to want to fall off. Uh, and also the price point. The price point's pretty high. Uh, I found them anywhere on Amazon and eBay. They range between 70 and 100 bucks. So it's a beautiful grinder. It's a bomber, but a uh, couple negatives to it. The next one, wait one. Uh, all right, it's the, ooh, the GSI Java Mill. Uh, I'm actually preferring this. So the reason I prefer it is I can take the handle off, maybe, I don't know, Let's see. I can take the handle off and now total volume, I'm not dealing with this funky shape in order to stow it. You can throw this back on. This thing also, it has a 360 degree uh, uh, reference in order for it to put the top back on after you've got the beans in it so you don't have to line up. Basically, there's like a hexagon nut in this other one. So you still have that same nut. You still have to line everything up. It just seems to work a little bit easier or line up a little bit more effectively. Also, the catch. The catch is so far staying on a little bit more effectively as well. It doesn't fall off as easy. It's the same way. You adjust your grind on the bottom. It's a fairly easy grinder to use. They've got about equal or commensurate volume. The price point on this one is much less. So it's about 30 bucks. Uh, it's definitely not gonna be as robust as something like this because it's metal. But for this price point, you can buy about three of these. Also, you can get a hold of GSI on the phone or via email. They're a stateside company. They're located in Spokane, Washington. Uh, the Zassenhaus, I, I was looking for contact information on this. And you know, you, you've basically got to speak German and uh, answer the phone with a ball gag to get a hold of somebody to buy one of these. So if I were to recommend a hand grinder, it'd be the GSI Java Mill. <music>